Oldenick here with another Halo Infinite campaign mission walkthrough and this is Mission 1 Warship G Breaking on a Mythic Lazo difficulty using the campaign replay feature. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and skip all the cutscenes and get right to it. And as everybody should know by now, Lazo is legendary, all skulls on, no deaths, no. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Legendary All Skulls On. Mythic Lazo is Legendary All Skulls On with no deaths, no saves, quits, and resumes. And what I'm doing here is I'm starting with my Blood Sword and my Tank Gun, which I picked up on the Easy Save, which is where I'm using, which is what I'm using for the recap. I noticed that I didn't go after that grunt in the far corner, and I also didn't go after the uh, battle rifle that's available to me out there. I don't need it. Okay, well, I took them all and both out at the same time. Now, all my Spartan capabilities have been upgraded. Well, not all of them. My threat sensor has been totally upgraded. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, sometimes I just can't change that weapon. My, uh, shields have been upgraded, not completely, but mostly, and I have a better uh, threat sensor. And that's thanks to all the Spartan cores that I picked up in the uh, Skull Hunt Run. Skull Hunt Run that I did. Say that three times fast. I still gotta be worried about taking too much damage here. Notice that my shields are down a little bit, so I saved that last grunt to get him back. Whoops, where'd he come from? Notice also that I'm using my threat sensor fully upgraded so I get four seconds of camo. I'll be doing that an awful lot in these missions uh, coming, this one and the other missions coming up. So, that Brute Berserker is no match for the tank gun. The only issue with the tank gun is you can't throw grenades, so you got to switch to your primary weapon for that. Uh, you can't sprint, you can't melee, and if you uh, using gra a grapple or whatever and you mistakenly pick up another weapon, you've lost your tank gun and you have to go back and replay outpost of uh, Timonius uh, to get it, or hope that you had it in the last checkpoint. Those are the two ways that you can get the tank gun back. And then restart the campaign if you want to do more plays up. Okay, so those guys all went out, those three brutes all went out with uh, the dynamo grenade, which is pretty handy because what it does is it freezes the, the, the uh, bad guys to give you a easy shot at them. Or if you throw throw enough at unshielded, uh, <coughs> excuse me, vanish, it will take them out. So right now, I'm just sitting here casually taking out the uh, shielded jackals, waiting for the two brutes to come down. Here they come. I'm going to see if I can take them out at this angle from up here. I think I've got one of them. And I think I've got the other one. Okay, let's make it sure. And again, though, so I'm using my, uh, whoops, I can't get that guy. Okay, got in that time. And it looks like I took care of all the shield objectives. Okay, on to the next. Now, when we come up here to the next level, we're going to start with a I think one, maybe two shielded jackals and a bunch of grunts. We could be the only two humans left alive out here. Then there's still hope. The other thing about the tank gun is that uh, it shoots from the knees, so you kind of have to jump up in the air to fire it, or else it'll just, you know, hit the ground or the deck or whatever. So sometimes in these combined spaces, that's a bit of a problem. But, that wasn't too much of an issue. 
All right. Uh, what I'm doing in here is a little bit different than the way it did in the original run. The original run, when I had rocket launchers, is I, I back out, close the door, and reopen the front. Here, I come over to the left side to use this cover. Gives me a little bit better angle of fire. The uh, brutes have a tendency to want to go back to that right corner. Now I'm throwing the dynamo grenade up there to see if anybody reacts, to see if anybody's left, but they aren't, so that takes care of that problem. Four tackles, taken out with one shot from the tank gun. Now here we got a little bit of a problem because I have to kind of go into the room with the weapon just won't change. It drives me nuts. Anyway, I gotta go into the room a little bit at times, especially when I'm firing level. Or you know, time my jump perfectly, if you will. And I didn't that time. Kinda kinda jump and then fire on the way back down. Alright, I got everybody on that level. There might be some people up here. Yeah, I can hear one reacting up on the left side. Uh, with Bandana Skull, you've got an infinite supply of grenades, all kinds of grenades, so... It can be, in some of these areas can turn into a grenade fest. So, use what you got. Got him. Just be a little careful there. The shielded brutes have rocket launchers, so you gotta really be careful. And you can be taken out with splash damage for these guys. And all those containers are in the way, so we'll have to go back and reload. Oh, what was that? That was a grenade. Okay, got him that time. What I'm doing here is, well, not so much. I got a clear shot. But here I just keep moving back and forth so they can't get a bead on me. Because they will, they will turn and fire, and that's any benefit, they'll turn and fire from where the fire came from. Or where, the, uh, where you were last seen. But, oh. Ooh, my shields are down a little bit. I could hear, I could hear them coming back. Okay, I switched back over to my grappler here because I want to potentially grapple down. We have a new problem. At some point. We? Boom. We Took him out. That's a that's the other place where I could get my shields back. If necessary. Notice that I use the uh, dynamo grenade to freeze those guys a little bit. There is a captain back there. Which I think I just got. Okay. Oh, my shields are down a little bit. I don't know where that came from. There are cooling pipes running. He's got a little hun honeycomb effect. So? I'm gonna blow things up. That's what I said. Darn it. <laughs> I didn't switch the weapon. Alright. Notice there were two brutes coming down that right ramp. Two brutes coming down the left ramp. Tank gun takes them out very easily. A couple of brutes down here, a couple of shield jackals. I think we got them all. Whoa! There's a couple of brutes down here. So you gotta be a little careful with them, because if they see you, they'll fire. Alright, so I got one of them, I, I, I'm not sure whether I got both of them, but I got one of them. Ah, sounds like I just got a rocket fired again. Yep, there he is. Let me kind of shoot a few off and 
Okay, he must have been in the back there and just moved up. Alright. There is a grunt. No, the grunt didn't come up yet. But way in the back there, there's a grunt in the boots. And there should be a grunt uh, about halfway down there. Alright, so take care of that. Oh. On fire. That'll happen sometimes. This is a slow, I guess, reloading gun, so you have to be a little careful on timing, you know, fire, because you can, if you try to rapid fire, you know, those fire, jump fire, sometimes that doesn't work. Okay, so, that's a cooling tower, by the way. Okay, he's taken out. Let's see what I got all of these guys. I did. He's taken out. That was a grunt that threw a grenade at me. Didn't jump high enough. Jump and turn. That was crazy. And get our shields back. Never turn down an opportunity to get your shields back. Bang him over grenade to freeze him and then take him out ready. with a sword or a melee. Okay, okay. By the way, if you strike somebody with a sword, that counts as a melee. Come on, you can do better than that. There we go. Alright, let's fire the engines with the cooling towers destroyed. And boom! Explosions occur. I skipped the big cutscene, you know that would have been our yeah. introduction to Eshrin. Well, he knows you. He knows all about you. You need to hurry and get back here. I don't know how long this Now we need to together. escape. First up will be a couple of grunts just inside the doorway. Followed by a couple of grunts way down there at the far end. Looks like I even know it fell down. Be a little bit careful in these explosions. Anyway, I took out all, all four of those grunts. There is a brute up there. I'm trying to get the. Yeah, there we go. Get those fusion cores to explode. That may take him out. And on the other side, there, that hat dropped the hatch. There's a couple of grunts. It's a little bit of, that takes a little practice, time to jump and fire. Okay, there's going to be a brute just on the other side of the door. Worried about the 
Sometimes that grunt's there, sometimes not. Out of time. The batteries. Charging slowly. I don't know. It's gonna be close. Too close. All right. Get close. Just let this come on down. Come on down. It'll drop. Yep. All right. So we're gonna wait for that elevator to crash him down. That takes care of that upper level. Now I gotta do a lower level. And I, what I did there is I aimed at that big old fusion core. And that took out uh, two of the grunts. And then the second shot took out the third grunt. Okay, so left. 90 seconds so to the freezing fire. Alright, so now we just got two grunts down there at the end. We have to take out. Watch out for flying debris. And we are home free. Not see. Let's see my what we will not see here is uh, Halo Infinite logo from uh, Tom Blue. It will just go and you want to replay the next mission. I'm going to delete the whole thing at that point. Anyway, that is Halo Infinite Logo from Tom Blue. Anyway, that is Warship G Breaking uh, on Mythic Lazo difficulty, Legendary All Skulls on. No deaths, no saves, quits and resumes, everything run in a single segment using the replay capability of the campaign. Anyway, we will not see the Halo Infinite logo come up on replay. It'll just say, do you want to replay the next mission uh, or not? And uh, I will not, I'll cut that out. And we're getting a message here about the weapon, which we'll see in the next mission, Foundation. Anyway, I hope I'm here. you enjoyed this. I okay. hope this helps you in your quest for a Worship G breaking on Lazo difficulty using replay. This is Old Anaki, signing off. Take care, everybody. Chief.